What is up everybody and welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival. So it's been a couple of days since I've actually properly recorded a video, I've just been doing a lot of streams lately. So I thought I'd take this revenge raid out on the road for a recording session. Also, I have currently got a giveaway going for two, for reaching 2,000 subs, it's a $25 Steam slash iTunes slash Play Store gift card, the link to that is in the description down below as well as a link to my Discord which you should all come and join because if I'm looking for people to play games with me on stream or possibly even when I'm recording then my Discord will generally be the place I go to to get people. Right, all that out of the way, let's head out on this raid. So we're raiding Raphael. Let's turn our sound on because as you all know I always forget to do that. There we go. Okay, so it looks like we've got a Kind of open plan base. Hmm. Now the question is, do they have any stone walls? I'm going to guess no, since they don't have the chopper. In which case, I can go and drop off. Yeah, no stone here. Alright, let's go and drop off our C4. And actually remember to drop off the C4 this time. Because last time when I scouted a base and then went to drop off a few hatchets in the C4, Forgot to leave the C4 behind, and I got about 10 individual comments, all having a massive go at me. Calling me some rather rude things because I forgot to drop off the C4. So a few people comments have just been permanently hidden on the channel. Because if you're going to act like that over me making a simple mistake, then yeah, I'm going to remove your messages from the channel. So be nice people, be friendly. Right, I'm going to stick with all of the hatchets I've got though. Not a C4 that can wait in there. Oh yeah, everybody, the um, Kefir, the people that make the game, have announced that you need to clear out your bunker as soon as possible. Take absolutely everything from there. Because they, for what we can tell, they are going to be doing a complete wipe of the bunker in preparation for the update that's coming really soon. We don't know when for certain. But it's going to be update 1.8. It's hopefully going to be adding in Sector 7 and the power armor. And maybe the Dark Zone. That'd be cool. But yeah. Looks like the bunker is going to be getting a few key changes to it. Uh, what have you got left to do in there? Uh, yeah, that's not near finishing yet. And what about your chopper? Okay. Right, so... Obviously the loot is going to be where their welcome mat is. That's a donation to people, to the AI Raiders, I believe. What have they got in here? Absolutely nothing. Right. I'm not gonna break in through there. That's a silly place to do it. Let's go for this door here. Best chances of not having to break something else straight afterwards. There we go. Okay, so they've honeycombed this. Just going to have to keep smashing through. Luckily, it's all level 1 walls. Yeah. Uh, I don't like it when people do this. wonder where their loot is actually going to turn out to be. Still not to the loot. Through here, maybe? Okay, so we've got the first wave of zombies coming in pretty soon. Uh, they've honeycombed all their loot, haven't they? And we can't walk past there. That's annoying. Well, we'll go this way. So this low-level person has actually honeycombed all their loot, really? Come on. Look at your level. You haven't even got the chopper completed. Uh, what am I breaking? Okay, it's breaking through here. Alright, no chest there. So I'm guessing that's going to be the last of them. Uh, let's see what's through here. And then we'll possibly start smashing our way into a couple of boxes. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything good that way. Guessing there's going to be two more chests through here. Yep. Oh, they've got a stone floor there. Okay, well, we're getting that chest. Die, zombies. Oh, my armor's all almost broken. Great. Oh, nice. They get stuck there. Ah, uh, no, he didn't. Thought he was going to be stuck. Two. Three. It's not too bad. Honestly, not entirely sure what was there. A bit of aluminium, bit of tape, some planks, and a bit of brick. I'll take it. You know what? I'm just going to start smashing my way in. 
Ooh, hang on. This here is a better door. Let's go through here. See what they got in this section. A plant. They were trolling us. <sighs> right. How many hatchets have we got? Ooh, down to three hatchets. Okay. Well then, let's let's uh, start breaking in. We'll go for this box next. And what are we getting? A couple of melee weapons. Oh, more zombies. Great. Hoping I can actually find the armor chest because this is starting to run quite low. Oh, and I've only got four medkits on me. I could have prepared for this raid a lot better. I'm just going to have to be careful not to waste medkits here. Okay, so I could actually get them glitched there a little bit. Right, let's do that. And we'll break into this one. What have we got? Uh... So yeah, it does kind of look like they've got their loot just completely spread out randomly. Ah, uh, great. Ignore the massive inventory AI. I accidentally bought two of the oak rooms. I didn't mean to. I'd just woken up. I wasn't fully with it. And what are we going to get in here? No! Stop it! There we go. Oh, nice. I'll take all of this. Always good to get. I'll... You know what? I'll take the gun parts. I think they're the gun parts you actually stole from me in the first place. Cheeky sod. Hey! There we go. Four steel bars. That's what we like to see. Yeah, let's take that. We'll take that. And we'll get a drink. Now let's kill these guys. Oh, nice. They can't attack us. Perfect. <laughs> Um, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> uh, feel a little bit sorry for them just standing there getting smashed in the face. And I broke the chest, so of course I can get through now. What are we getting? Um, nothing too amazing. I guess I can take the aluminium. Uh, right. What health have I got? Okay, I've got a hatchet and a half left. You know what? Let's do it. Let's break into here and hope it's not honeycomb and see what loot we can get from it. It was honeycomb. Right. We can do this. We can't do this. Time to go. Absolutely nothing stashed away in the chopper, but no real good loot left there. I wonder how they got the four steel bars, because look at that person's base, they have not been visiting the bunker. And, uh, you know what, let's forget that, let's go straight to the dealer, see what he's offering us. And there we go, the base is disappearing. So yeah, as I was saying, empty out your bunker, all of the lockers, as soon as possible. I can't do another raider's raid until the bunker resets, because it wants me to break five turrets and clear, I think, the second floor of the bunker. Which is just all a bit of a drag, really. Not so much as the, what do you call it, 25 red zone chests that it also wants me to do. But that can all wait. Uh, all of that for a weapon crate? Now, pass. Right, so it's not the best loot in the world, but we got four steel, we got five copper, and we got some seven oak planks. Right. I think what I'm going to do here is wait until the bunker resets and then I'll head out on a raider's raid. So I'll see you guys, slash girls, slash whatever you identify as, in a minute. And we're back, ready to head out on a raid. Just want to check that the game's recording. It is indeed excellent. Let's run over there. So I've decided I want to see what happens when you anger the raiders and they come to your base because I've been told that they come with some pretty good guns like scars and I think it was possibly a grenade launcher so I want to see if I can anger them to my base and then kill them which will involve me building all four of the turrets and getting them powered up but before that we've got to actually go out on a raid and refuse to give them any loot okay so it looks like this person has put spike walls 
absolutely everywhere just to be annoying. Aha, thank you. Oh, they got a um, noise gate there. Nothing good in there. Don't want to step on that. Oh, what have we got in there? That's empty. Okay. Well, they've got their door here. So let's break in. Let's break in next to the door. Probably going to wish I went somewhere else because this person looks like. Yeah. Right. The roaming zombie behind a stone door there. Have they got any doors out that way? No. Okay, well. See, I know there's not going to be anything through here. Because that zombie's there. Can he walk over here? No. And he can't get over here. So that's just a one by one there. Can't even shoot him. Right. Yeah, it looks like they've sectioned off absolutely everything. Hmm. Bit of a conundrum. Let's go through this door. Why not? So it looks like it won't actually be... Oh, there we go. I was about to say we won't actually be getting that much from this raid, but if they've got only weak walls inside. No. Nope. Right, so we've got the first wave coming in. Unfortunately, they're not going the way around, which takes them through all of the spike balls. Which sucks a little bit. Hey, got a few chests here. You know what, let's just smash our way in. See what we can get from here. Couple of carrots. Hey, floater boat got damaged. Nice. No, I don't want to break that. I want to... And that's empty. Okay. Still, uh, we haven't got that many hatches. I've got a full stack, but... Right. Yes, stop it. Why are... Oh, is the next wave already? <sighs> That's a nine. Come on. And it's another little one by one. Great. Yeah, do not feel like we're going to be getting much good loot from this base. Let's break this way. Hmm. Oh, there we go. We've got a blue chest here. Not. Let's just smash in. No, I don't want to then break that. Bunch of leather. And what are we getting out of here? Hey, more hatchets. So at least getting the hatchets back that we've used from this raid. That's a plus. And the zombies are here again already. Great. Right, we'll gun all of these down and not sure what way we should go. Right. Do we go this way? Or do we go this way? Or that way? All oh, right, all right. I get it. You don't like me. Right. I say we go. Let's go this way. Hoping we can get a good open bit here. Nope, but we've got a bed and a little box that we can't get round. Well, this is going to summon the big one. Hey! Found their steel. Found that stuff. Found all of this. Oh! Ugh. The sound went off for the med kit! I heard it! And let me guess, the base is completely gone. No, my luck it will be. Let's have a look. Yep, base is completely gone. Oh, why did I forget the med kit? <sighs> hmm. But the raiders haven't come back. So, do they not ask for a share if I die? Hmm. Am I able to call them on the radio? I think that might be a thing. If you die on a raid and lose everything, the raiders don't come and harass you for a share of the loot. Let's see if we can... Hmm. Right. So we now can't call the raiders, but... Oh wait, the base wasn't there. The base was... The base was off in the distance, wasn't it? 
Right, I'll see if it's there. If it is, I'll grab a few things, inventory-wise. Okay, yeah, base is still there, Fabrice. Awesome. Right, so we're going to want to get some armor, some medkits, and we want that steel and copper. We can do this. We got this. Right. Armor and medkits. Armor's going to be an issue, because don't have that much. Medkits, there we go. Really need to actually get that back, because that was my last military backpack. Uh, take that, take that, but I want better trousers. No, don't pick this up, I'm in a rush. I'd like better trousers, if at all possible. Don't think it's possible. Uh, that is really low health. Right, and I'm going to want to be able to kill the... No, I haven't used the sky yet. Ooh, that thing's loud. Right. See, I need to kill the toxic abominations, or I'm just going to get hit too much. Oh, come on, I've got to have some trousers here somewhere. Really? They're even worse. You know what? Let's take these out for a spin. Um, armor 8 on that. And armor on that is 7. Okay. So we'll wear the trousers at least. Right. We can do this. Let's go do a bit of Chinese raiding. So we, what is it that we need to get back? Honestly, the only thing I really care about there is the military backpack. Just so I haven't got to use my steel to make another one. And what are you doing, Bunny? Where have you gone? Sorry, my rabbit's loose at the moment. Uh, drive over there. Rabbit? I have no idea where she's disappeared to. Oh, she's lying on the floor under our cage. Okay. Come on. Right. So to gun down the abominations. We can do this. I think the other abomination actually died to the spikes. Equip. Take that, take that, take that, take that. Uh, take all. Uh, what's we'll still in here? Let's take that. And we'll take none of that. Right, let's go. No, I'm stuck. Right, I'm closing the game. Sorry, I had to close the game there. I was just completely stuck. Nothing I could have done. I just couldn't walk past him there. Hey, Bernie. Yeah, she's come out now. She's sitting by my feet. She's very well behaved, Rabbit. Poops everywhere because she's not properly litter trained yet. But yay, look, we managed to run away. And yeah, got a decent amount of hatchets out of it. I know what I just did was a bit glitch abusey, but where did that come from? <laughs> when did I grab a machete? Do not remember doing that. Yeah, I know that was a bit glitch abusey, but there was absolutely nothing I could have done there. I was blocked in place by him. Right, let's go to the raiders. We'll give them the machete and provoke them to come and attack us. Oh, she's now eating her veggies. I love my rabbit. There we are. Ow. Always get stuck by that wall. Give nothing. What do they say about that? What do they say about that? Do they like medkits? It's a joke. Steel. Yeah, I figured they'd love steel. They're not happy with a C4. Or that. What about a single hatchet? Right. Give nothing. Tough. I uh, thought you'd get away with it so easily. Dun dun dun. What are we looking at here? Gang of raiders. Raiders can break your walls and steal things from your chest. You have to strike through your house and place traps in order to protect yourself from attacks. Okay, well then, looks like we are going to be doing a bit of raid defense. So, was that... Oh, I didn't actually check the timer on that. Oh, well, they'll be here in a bit. 
So we we need to um, get our base nice and strong, which is going to involve building a few more turrets. So give me a minute, we'll get this stashed away. And what's going on in there? Hey, up to 11 more possible steel. And I'll chuck that in there to store it. I have never once in this game farmed a single bit of copper. And I've got all of that copper bars in there. 16 steel bars here. I love it. Raids are amazing. Easily the best thing in this game at the moment. But let's try out a bit of raider's defence. Okay, so I will see you in a minute when I have got my um, turrets all ready to be finalised. So yeah, see you in a sec. Right, I'm back everybody. Let's chuck that in there and finalise our turret. There we go, we got that finalised. And if we look here, let's power this up. Let's get that running for three and a half hours. But, upgrade, got everything we need there. We add 10 damage and 300 armor to it. And ta-da, it looks cooler now, even better. Oh, and I'm dying of thirst. Let's eat that bit of raw meat quickly. There we go. Right, let's pour this on, get this running for three and a half hours as well. And let us head over to here, and we'll get that running as well. Right, and that knock at the door's girlfriend telling me she wanted something, so I will end off the episode here. I think I've got a few hours till the raiders turn up, so next video will be me defending the base for them. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Uh, goodbye.